Marianne Long here, Education Director for the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy. Let's check out what's going on with sharks this week. It has been a really active week with shark activity. The research vessel was working on the outer coast of Cape Cod and they spent a day working in Cape Cod Bay. One of the sharks that they came across this past week is now named Jules. Named for New England's own Julian Edelman. This video was taken by a family that was out on a charter boat and as they were reeling in their fish, a white shark jumped up and took it from them. So when you watch this, something we wanna make sure everyone's very mindful of is that if you are fishing in the Cape Cod area now, White sharks, they're predators of opportunity. They're gonna try to go for that easy catch since that fish is already fighting on the line and it's pretty tired. They're gonna try to snag it from you. So if you're out there fishing, it's a good idea. When you're bringing in your catch, use a net. Don't be leaning over the side of the boat. Don't be reaching your hands in to grab that fish. Use a net to safely bring it on board. Let's take a break from white sharks for a moment and look at this unique story. Researchers were in the Pacific and they actually caught a pocket shark. This is only the second time that researchers have been able to observe one of these tiny shark species. It's about five and a half inches long. And being that small, it doesn't get its name because it could casually fit in your pocket. This shark gets its name because of a physical characteristic near its pelvic fins that actually looks like a pocket. It's pretty cute, much smaller than the white sharks we see off our coastline here. We've got our, our five senses. Sharks have the same five senses, but they've also got a bonus. They've got things called ampullae of Lorenzini, um, which are all these tiny jelly-filled pores on their face um, and along their body that allows them to detect electrical fields. So electrical fields resulting from muscle contractions, things like that. So they have this, this last sense when they're about to prey on something, usually uh, white sharks will roll back their eyes. Um, other types of sharks have these membranes that come up to protect their eyes. Um, and in the last seconds when they're about to go in and, and bite things, those ampullae allow them to like stay in contact with their prey essentially to know where they are while they're protecting their eyes. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Shark Tales. Every week we are sharing the latest in white shark activity with NBC10 Boston. Follow on Instagram, their website, and YouTube to stay up to date with what's going on.